part family. Hey, hey, hey! Y'all, guess where I am? I am in a warehouse full of all kinds of pipes and tubing and canisters. All of this are things that you bought because of you and your faithfulness and commitment to this push as we make full-time worship at the Park Independence a reality. This is what you all have done with the money you have given. We got light pictures, I, cause I know I bought some of these. I'm positive I have. We got cable, we got all, look. What you think we're gonna do with this stuff right here? This is so we can take advantage of everything God has done for us now that we're in the promised land, now that we have the park independence, it is now time for us to have full time worship. Now is the time because of your commitment, because of your faith, because of your obedience to giving. We will now be able to minister, not only to the east side of Charlotte, but also to the world. Not only will we be able to take care of nations, which include Charlotte, nations also include the United States. Nations include the world. We'll be able to broadcast from our location with all of these here fancy things that you paid for out of our independence location. We'll be able to see our missionaries over in Kenya. We'll be able to see missionaries over in Haiti. We had folk over in India. Wouldn't it have been wonderful to be able to talk to them face to face, allow them to minister to us in real time. We wanna thank you all. We wanna thank you for being committed to the vision. We wanna thank you for your obedience. We wanna thank you for your giving. We know that so many of you have given sacrificially. Really for so many years as we started this push to independence. God has been so faithful to us through all these years, even through one of the worst economic times ever. We've still been able to take care of Babies for a Road. We've been able to take care of South Charlotte. And we've been able to take care of independence. But as we got into the promised land, there was still a work that God would have us to do. And that work includes worship. Worship on a full-time basis. So we're asking you, we're right up to the line. We're almost to the finish line, almost, to making that thing a reality. So what we're gonna ask you to do is we need you to step up just one more time, family. What we're asking is we make the next two weeks a full out push to getting right over that finish line what we're asking each of you. But whatever you can give, I want us to be able to say, I want God to be able to look at us and say that we did the thing that he wanted us to do, which was be obedient. He's gonna do a great work through us. He's gonna do a great work through your obedience. He's gonna do a great work through your sacrifice. As we make full-time worship at the Park Independence a true reality. Think about that for just a minute in terms of who we will affect. We have no idea. When you really think about how lives are touched, how God works. We really don't know what we're doing for right now is gonna do for someone in the future. And as we've been watching, as we've been going through this 100 year uh, anniversary celebration about those who made the sacrifice back 100 years ago so that you and I can sit where we are now. So we're asking, just one more time, family, we've gotta get over this line. We just need one more push one more gift so that we can do what God asks us to do as we extend the love, the life, and the Lordship of Jesus Christ. Get in there with me. Isn't that a song? I think that's a wobble, right? Get in there. Yeah, y'all know what I'm talking about. Let's do this one more time. We're right there, but we need you to help us get over that goal line full time. Love you, Park. Take care. Bye-bye.